let's start by Israel. I don't, the issue of Qatar independence is not going to go away. And it's not going to go away for the same reason as Scottish independence is not going to go away. And the reason for that is they're both rooted in a crisis of both states, the UK state and the Spanish state, which are long term and I think in some ways insolvable. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time in the UK, but just simply to say that it's obviously a, a, a imperial decline, economic decline, which, despite the hyper market Thatcher, has never been arrested and has got major implications for society, I'll use the word British society just at the moment, which are fairly obvious if you take a walk at the moment around London, with a growing gap once again between rich and poor, demonstrated by Grenfell. But I can, you know, I'm not, I'm not we evil. The Spanish state is a bit different. There wasn't a modernization of Spain. There wasn't the equivalent of the French Revolution, German unification. When capitalism comes to Spain, I mean in, in industry, it comes with the exception of Catalonia and the Basque Country, it comes really under Franco, with the opening up of the Spanish economy to the West, when it was decided that Franco could survive. The Americans took that decision, basically, because he was our ally against the Russians. And they opened up and multinational investment came in. That was really when Spain, I mean Spain, began, begins to become industrialized very late in the day. And it remains a fairly backward country. A country in which the power is in the center of the country, literally Madrid, in Castile. The area which had driven the, re the reconquest process from the, from, uh, from the Muslims. And that centralized state, centralized too, very, very suspicious, in fact, fearful of both the Catalans and the Basques. 